The Chronicles of Chuckleberry Forest Once upon a time, in a faraway land, there was a magical forest called Chuckleberry. The forest was home to many unique creatures, including the mischievous giggling squirrels, the playful jolly bears, and the silly laughing owls. One bright and sunny morning, the forest was bustling with excitement. The annual Chuckleberry Festival was about to begin. All the creatures of the forest were invited to participate in games, colorful parades, and lots of delicious treats. As the day progressed, the festivities began in full force, and the atmosphere was infused with laughter and joy. Suddenly, a loud rumble was heard, and a peculiar-looking creature appeared out of nowhere. It was a large grumpy, but lovable monster called Grouch. Grouch had never attended the Chuckleberry Festival before because he had always thought it was too silly for his taste. However, he was intrigued by all the laughter and happy faces he saw and decided to investigate. Grouch wandered around the festival and tried to join in on some of the games, but he wasn't very good at any of them. He tried dancing, singing, and even telling jokes, but nothing seemed to make him feel any happier. Grouch became increasingly grumpy, and by the time the sun started to set, he had decided he'd had enough of the festival and left. The next day, however, strange and unusual things began to happen in the forest. The giggling squirrels lost their giggles, the jolly bears lost their joy, and the laughing owls lost their humor. By the time the festival started the following year, the forest had become a sad and silent place filled with unhappy and grumpy creatures. The annual Chuckleberry Festival was no longer a source of joy and laughter as it had been in previous years. Everyone tried to put on a brave face, but deep down, the animals of the forest missed the happiness they once felt. One day, a wise old owl named Hooty was sitting on his branch when he saw Grouch sneaking through the forest. Hooty followed Grouch and discovered that he had been the cause of all the unhappiness in the forest. Grouch had accidentally let out a loud grumble, and its power had spread through the forest like wildfire, sucking all the happiness out of the creatures. Hooty knew that something had to be done, and he remembered the legend of the chuckleberry fruit. The legend said that one bite of the chuckleberry fruit would restore happiness to anyone who ate it. Hooty knew that he had to find the fruit and fast if the forest was ever to be happy again. Hooty gathered a team of animals and set off on an adventure in search of the chuckleberry fruit. They faced many challenges and obstacles along the way, including a treacherous river and a deep, dark cave where they had to solve riddles to find their way out. Finally, after many days of searching, they found the chuckleberry fruit tree, guarded by the naughty giggling squirrels. The team had to convince the squirrels to let them have some of the fruit, and they did so with a fun dance and a few jokes. With the fruit in their hands, Hooty, Grouch, and the team rushed back to the forest, feeding the fruits to all the sad creatures. As they ate the chuckleberry fruit, the creatures' faces lit up with happiness, and a wave of laughter swept through Chuckleberry Forest. Grouch even cracked a smile, and he felt happier than he had been in a long time. The annual Chuckleberry Festival was celebrated more exuberantly than ever before, with everyone laughing and dancing with joy. The creatures of the forest had never been so grateful that they could live in such a happy home. From that day on Chuckleberry Forest became a place of laughter, happiness, and love. Whenever any creature felt down or grumpy, they returned to the Chuckleberry Forest for a punch of laughter, the Chuckleberry Forest magic worked once more. And so, dear children, Always remember to find joy even in the smallest things in life, and never forget to laugh 
and be silly just like the residents of Chuckleberry Forest always did. Oh.